Okay guys, uh, my name's uh, Baez and I'm in uh, Melbourne, Australia and I've been meaning to actually uh, do something like this just to keep progress for my injury and my experience with uh, my Achilles tendon rupture and subsequent operation um, and I guess just a little bit of a diary log for for myself as well moving forward so just a brief background about how I ruptured my Achilles um, I'm 42 years old I've been playing uh, football or soccer whatever you like to call it uh, for 37 years and this is the first time I've actually had a significant injury and that sort of happened on the last game of the season uh, went to receive the ball and all I remember was hearing a massive snap um, and it felt like I got kicked in the back of the leg I've actually had a couple of the guys from my team say to me that I did get kicked um, I actually had a mark um, on the back of my leg as well so either way however it happened if it was just if it just happened by itself or a combination of both a kick and tightness in the Achilles it snapped um, obviously pain and when I tried to get up after swearing at the defenders um, my foot wasn't working <laughs> my foot wasn't walk working I couldn't move left right up down whatever so I knew there was something serious going on straight away and I um, asked to be taken off and proceeded to go to the hospital. So, cut a long story short, um, went through the public system, uh, had to wait two and a half weeks to actually get operated on. Uh, my Achilles tendon was uh, five centimetres apart from each other, so I guess I was lucky in that sense. Um, you know, I've heard of some horror stories where the tendon can you know, snap back up all the way into the to the calf muscle or even into the hamstring. Uh, so mine was five centimeters apart, sort of down down towards the bottom of my uh, my tendon where it joins onto the bone. So I had a I had a procedure done, which I think is more a newer sort of procedure in the sense of um, it's a minimally invasive. Uh, procedure but what they do is actually um, <clears throat> cut a couple of holes at the bottom of your heel bone um, and I'll try to explain it as simply as possible but they thread, they thread some thick sutures through your top tendon um, and go through in, in one side out the other um, and then those sutures are basically accessed via coming up through your heel through the, the tendon at the bottom into the tendon that's separated up the top and then they hook these sutures through and they pull it down through the inside of the tendon and out of the holes that have, that have been placed in the bottom of your heel so there's two holes um, once they pull these sutures through it basically they, top, they, they pull it and put a lot of uh, tension on it and then that joins the tendons back together but then to, to keep the tension on it they basically screw two holes into the bottom of the heel bone and then tension off these uh, these thick sutures with screws that go into the bottom of your heel so it's pretty full on operation um, but pretty smart I think as well and I was told by the doctor that this is the, um, the newer method and it gives super strength back to your tendon um, and to the actual process so I'm in sort of I'm in week six uh, post-op and the first couple of weeks you know it was pretty frustrating I was in a wheelchair um, I was you know on crutches trying to get used to crutches I couldn't wash my own face standing at the sink you know simple things like going to the toilet having a shower was impossible almost but um you know it can be done obviously uh, but you, you, you take for granted 
what this particular part of your body, you know, does for you until you lose it, you know, and then, then you sort of realise, wow, it has a, it does have a play a major role in obviously being able to walk and function and whatnot. So the first couple of weeks were pretty much just rest, um, elevation rest. Um, my leg was in a cast at the front. Um, a lot of good drugs <laughs> um, for pain kill, so that was good. I was off work. Um, my, my job involves me going and, um, and visiting stores. Uh, I'm a business development manager, so I physically have to go into stores and meet with people, and I, I couldn't do that um, up until last week. Um, so after the first two weeks, I went in and saw the physio. They took off the cast, and they gave me a moon boot with a, I believe there's uh, three levels in my heel. heel to elevate uh, the, the heel so that there was no pressure on the tendon, um, which was awesome because that moon boot made a massive difference. You know, I can actually start weight bearing. They, they, they said, you know, uh, weight bearing up, uh, up until tolerated. Uh, so I just went all out. Um, you know, maybe use a crutch for a day just for balance and then and then, uh, yeah, went all out and just basically started walking uh, slowly. Um, walking, or what you'd probably more call it, um, bouncing around or hopping along. Um, but uh, at least I was able to stand and balance without crutches and without having to use a wheelchair, which was massive for me. Um, the exercises, the basic exercises the physio gave me after that two week period was with super simple exercises, just, you know, flexing the foot forward and then bringing it back up to just basically straight. When I went home for the first time after the physio, I, I, I laid on the couch and I started trying to do these exercises. This is the first moment I realized how severe this injury was because I was struggling I really struggled um, and I think it all sort of hit me. Um, it all hit me in the sense that I realised it's going to take a long time. Um, I love my sport and I'm a super active person and I, I want to keep active still. But just trying to get my foot back to straight was so hard that I, I, don't, I don't know, all my emotions came to me at once and I actually started crying a little bit, you know, um, which was good. It was good, it sort of released a lot of feelings for me. But at the same time, it sort of gave me a bit of motivation as well. You know, I was able to start moving my foot at least. So we'll fast forward. Um, we'll fast forward a couple of weeks from there. Um, it was just basically, you know, trying to just walk around. Still, I was, I was still at home. Um, I went in and after two more weeks of, of basically just doing basic exercise and, and, and you know getting around, um, I went in to see my own physio actually, um, which was really good. So she sort of started to get more into you know the massage therapy side of things and trying to you know uh, just stretch out the, the tendon and whatnot. Um, which has been helpful. I've actually been doing that on a weekly basis um, to try to help, I guess, speed up the process. Um, and been doing my exercises daily from there. <clears throat> um, so it was very slow progress from there onwards. But after about week five, uh, four and a half, five post-op, I decided to go back to work because it's my left leg I can drive, which I was, I'm lucky with. So I, I decided to go back to work because I was bored out of my brain at home. Um, you know, I, I was working, but it's not it's not the same um, working from home as opposed to you know being out on the road and you know just getting back to normal life. I must add, you know, I did have help along the way at being at home. Uh, my girlfriend uh, was very helpful. Uh, my mother flew 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 down from interstate um, and it's basically but I've been a mummy's boy at home uh, which has been good 
um, and very helpful. So, you know, if you were all by yourself, I'd, I'd, you'd find it pretty difficult and lonely, but um, I was lucky in that sense. I've got, you know, great support around me as always. So that was very, very helpful. Um, so I got, I got back to work and then this week, week six, um, I'll go back actually, the, the week before I had a, my physio appointment at the hospital. And they told me to take one hill out, so one level, it's three levels in this hill in your moon boot. So I've taken, I've, I took that one out. That was uh, you know, five weeks post-op. Um, and I dropped one level. So this week, uh, a few days ago, uh, I went to see the orthopedic surgeon. A uh, young, young guy, Dr. Galvin, based in Melbourne. Um, the guy who done this uh, procedure on me, he was um, quickly tested out the tendon and made me push forward and you know a bit of strength to see to see what sort of strength I've got in the tendon. And he was blown away by the strength I already had pushing forward with my foot and my toes. Um, I nearly pushed him off his chair. So he was he was super impressed with the result of the surgery and basically turned around to me and you know uh, and tested my foot back up straight like that um, and he said look mate your foot you know you can you can go straight already so keep the moon boot on um, take the heels out he first said take another heel out but uh, he, then he said look you know your foot straight so I'm, I'm happy with you to take both heels out so I'm actually walking in my moon boot um, six weeks post op um, flat in the moon boot uh, which has been, which was really encouraging uh, for me, and you know, I was sort of, I don't know, got a bit of a buzz from it, got a bit excited by it. It is little and simple things, but um, you know, he basically said to me that, that you know, I'm, I'm about four weeks ahead of um, the, the the planned or the the expected sort of um, point that I'm meant to be at. So I'm about a month ahead, six weeks post-op. Um, which was cool. Um, over the last couple of days, uh, I've been sort of, uh, without trying to push myself too much, um, been doing a lot more of the exercises. They, the, the physio also told me to start sort of to try to do mini calf raises in the sense where just sitting down on a chair and um, just pushing up on my toes and trying to get the, the calf muscle uh, activate it again because it's pretty amazing how much muscle you actually lose you know one part of my body that I've always been happy with um, as far as muscle tone has always been my legs especially my calves and my left calf has basically turned into jelly um, so I, I started doing that a couple of days ago um, and today so this is about six and a bit weeks in uh, this morning decided to sort of push myself a little bit more in the shower I always used to have this routine in the shower as I was growing up doing calf raises two-footed calf raises just to get the one of my uncles who used to play uh, you know semi-pro in England um, for Queens Park Rangers always taught me this exercise and I'd always do it in the shower um, just calf raises basically calf raises two-footed calf raises until you couldn't do them anymore so this morning I had I just felt I might just give it a bit of a go and you know, really slowly, I um, I actually started doing calf raises, um, two-footed. You know, probably leaning more to my right side, um, to, you know, weight bearing wise. But um, I was able to actually pump out 40 calf raises, two-footed, uh, which I was surprised with. You know, but um, the the job that they've done feels super solid. Um, and. You know the stretching exercises you know the minimal stretching exercises at the moment basically just grabbing a towel putting it against uh, around your foot and pulling it towards you that sort of exercises are being done at the moment as well um, so this is I guess it's encouraging and I want to I wanted to share this video with you guys just to you know whoever you know whoever it may help may not help I'm not sure um, I found that you know, watching a lot of YouTube videos sort of helped me because everyone's experience is different, procedures are different. Um, one of the things that I would highly recommend, however, 
when you are in a cam boot, uh, in your moon boot, is find yourself one of these. This goes onto your opposite foot. Um, it's called a balancer, or I can't remember the name of it now, but it's by ProCare. Um, it goes underneath your shoe or the other foot, so it brings you up to the same level. Um, so that you're not hobbling, you know, one one foot higher than the other. I found my lower back started hurting after a few days, and one of the guys that I was watching on YouTube recommended this, and I, I bought it online straight away. It was like 50 bucks or something, so definitely recommend that. Um, but yeah, so this is six weeks post-op. Um, recovering quite well surgeon thinks you know i'm four weeks ahead of time and i think it's got to do more with this actual procedure in my next video i'll try to um find the name of the procedure i was, I was just in the car and I, I just thought hey you know what i'm doing this video now so um i'll try to get that the name of the actual procedure um but slow progress you know but encouraging little signs along the way and I hope this sort of helps. Um, if you've got any questions, um, you know, just obviously, you know, you can comment on the on the on the, the comments below, um, and I'll keep you updated. I'll try to do weekly or maybe every two weeks updates, just to see how we're going. And yeah, I guess we'll just keep in touch like that. And all the best with your recovery. And good luck and I'll see you guys soon.